Hi there, I'm Renee Fuentes and welcome back to my channel, Thai Caliente, where I show you how to make your favorite Thai and Mexican recipes. Today I'm going to be sharing a very popular recipe for Thai fried spring rolls. So if you've never had a Thai spring roll, they are a little bit smaller than your typical Chinese egg roll. And we're also going to be using a spring roll wrapper as opposed to an egg roll wrapper. So the filling that I'm using today is ground chicken, but feel free to customize it with either ground pork or you can even do a ground shrimp for shrimp spring rolls. And if you need it to be vegetarian, then go ahead and omit the meat and you can also add some shredded cabbage to the spring rolls. Um, most of the ingredients you will be able to find at your local grocery store. Aside from the spring roll wrappers, those I've only been able to find at my local Asian market. All right, you guys, there are a couple steps into this recipe, but um, once you kind of get the hang of it and get rolling on the spring rolls, it goes by pretty fast. So let's get started. All right, so these measurements are gonna make about 50 spring rolls. So if you want to cut back, then go ahead and cut everything in half. But I am starting off with two pounds of ground chicken. And here I have half a cup of cilantro stems. I'm just using the stems because the leaves can kind of turn brown. And these are my seasonings that I'm using. So I have some salt, white pepper, black pepper, some garlic powder and onion powder. Feel free to increase these ratios as well if you like. And our binder is gonna be two whole eggs. So I've just cracked them in a bowl. And in this bowl, I have three tablespoons of golden mountain soy sauce and three tablespoons of oyster sauce. The next part of the filling is these glass or bean thread noodles. So I've soaked them in warm water until they softened. And then I just kind of cut it up with some kitchen scissors just so they're not super long. And then I have shredded carrots and then I used dried shiitake mushrooms that again, I rehydrated in warm water and then just kind of chopped them up finely. So in a large bowl with your ground chicken, go ahead and add all of the filling, the carrots, the mushrooms, the softened bean thread noodles, the cilantro stems, and then all of your seasoning as well. So this is the soy sauce that I'm adding. If you can't get Golden Mountain soy sauce, then you can use low sodium or regular soy sauce. And then I'm using the oyster sauce, but you can also substitute um, a mushroom sauce as well. And then I'm adding the two eggs and to combine this mixture, I'm actually gonna be using a glove and my hand. You wanna make sure you really get in there and incorporate everything so that way the seasoning and sauce is distributed evenly with the filling. And this is kind of the end texture that you want. You want it um, kind of sticky and just, you know, can kind of hold on its own when you pick it up. All right, so for the spring roll wrappers, again, like I mentioned, I've only been able to find these at my Asian store. They are in the frozen section and you just put them on the counter to defrost for about 15 minutes. So I have two sizes here. I have a large size and a medium size. I like to use the medium size because um, those are pretty easy, but if you do buy the large one, you can either use the entire sheet or I'm going to cut it into a triangle to um, essentially have double. So this is a pack of 30, so I'm gonna end up with 60. But if you don't wanna cut it and you wanna use the entire sheet, then you're just gonna leave it as is and start it off in a diamond pattern. So like I mentioned, I'm cutting it up. So now I have um, two equal triangles and this is what I'm gonna be using to show you guys to roll the spring rolls. So we're going to peel all of the wrappers. Um, you wanna do it kind of carefully, you don't want it to rip, but the wrappers will get dried out very quickly. So you wanna make sure you place them under a slightly damp towel. You don't want the towel too wet because then they'll get mushy but I just have a kitchen towel here and all of my peeled wrappers are underneath the towel so that way they stay moist. All right guys, now for the fun part, we're gonna roll the spring rolls. So I have one of my wrappers out and I'm just going to add about a heaping tablespoon of the spring roll filling. Again, these aren't gonna be super big um, so I don't wanna add too much filling in there. And then I just have an egg that I have scrambled and that's gonna be my glue. 
So I'm just going to put that at the very top. And to roll a spring wheel, I'm going to do this slowly. So I'm bringing up the right side and kind of forming it, and then the left side and forming it, and just kind of smooth it out to get an even line. And then tuck everything in tightly and pull back as you're rolling so that way you get a nice tight spring roll. So make sure you have enough egg wash on there and it is sealed and that is how it goes. I will show you guys one more time a little bit quicker. So go ahead and take your wrapper out, add your heaping tablespoon of filling, and then put on your egg wash. This also kind of helps to um, hold the wrapper in place. So that's why I like to add it before I start rolling. And then again, the sides. And then roll everything nice and tight. So once all of your spring rolls are rolled, you can keep them in the fridge while you're heating up your oil. But I have my oil at 350 degrees and I'm just using canola oil. I'm gonna add about five spring rolls to my pan. I don't wanna overcrowd it because I wanna make sure since the filling is raw, the chicken is raw, I wanna make sure they do cook thoroughly. But once they kind of get some golden color to it, go ahead and flip them around. And I flipped these a couple times until um, you know they were nice and golden and really crispy. I'm going to place them on a plate with a paper towel. You can let them cool down a, a little bit before serving, otherwise it's gonna be super hot. Or if you need to store these for a party, you can also place them on a baking rack and in a 200 degree oven. But this is the essentially the color that you want. Um, so here I have them on a baking rack to keep warm. And to serve it, I'm just gonna put a bed of romaine lettuce and I'm using just a bottled Thai sweet chili dipping sauce that you can find at any grocery store and just kind of stack on my spring rolls. So this can be a great appetizer, snack, or an accompaniment to your meal, but I promise they will not last long. And there is a shot of the filling. They are so good. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Be sure to leave me any comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks so much.